This all really began unfolding uh, not just a few months ago with the silly Vice Media uh, article, but about seven years ago when I was at the peak of my business career, I had become a golden boy on YouTube, and many of you guys remember that. Uh, you probably also remember when I went dark. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. But if we backtrack to what led up to my success, right? And I, I share this not because I'm bragging today. I share this because I think some of you might be able to put yourself in my shoes where you begin very early, maybe in your 20s. I started a family when I was 23. Uh, and you set yourself on a path and you're focused and determined and you have the, all the vigor and vinegar and piss and pride to get things done. And you work and you strive and you achieve. Now, maybe it's not easy, but you have a purpose, you have a vision, you have a mission. And with your stubbornness, perhaps, your willingness to sacrifice the uh, focus or uh, co consolidation of your will into one area, you start to make some headway and you make your way in the world. Now, if you're a bit younger and you're listening to me right now and you, you can't relate, just understand that if you keep putting one foot in front of the other, you're going to get there. You're going to reach the peak. There's something a little evil about peaking because when you get to the top, if you're not in the right mindset, well, there's nowhere else to go but down. I've been thinking lately how nothing fails like success, especially if you're not prepared for what's coming. And to be completely frank, I was not prepared for the type of attention, the type of uh, fame that I achieved in a very short period of time with YouTube. I started YouTube back in 2007 before being a YouTuber or an influencer was even a thing. So it wasn't like, you know, many of the young people watching today will say, well, you know, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. Well, I never knew what YouTube was. So it kind of creeped up on me. It snuck up on me. I didn't realize what would happen. And so I was unprepared emotionally, mentally. And there are some things that I wish I would have known, but I'm happy that I found out later. And so my story goes, I started smoking weed. I got to uh, the peak of my business career. And uh, I, I, I have to say that in some way, my ego must have gotten the best of me. And I thought that I could, I thought I deserved something. Uh, I know I speak to many of the guys that are in my programs now, and they talk to me about how they'll come home at night uh, after a long, hard day of work and, you know, suck down some vodka because they feel like they deserved it, right? Or, you you know, you worked all week long and Friday night comes and you go to the bar and you get hammered, right? Like, because you deserved it. And I sort of had that same mindset as well, meaning I put in many, many, many years raising my family as well as building my business. And I was as clean as you can get. But one day I decided that I think I need, I deserve something. <laughs> I tell you right now, you don't deserve anything. I didn't deserve anything, but I thought I did. And it's a slippery slope. And, uh, and it usually comes in the form of seeking some created good, some pleasure. And I wasn't really much of a drinker. And uh, I had always maintained pretty good shape, so I didn't binge on food. But I decided that I was going to start smoking ganja. And it was amazing. It was great. It was the break I was looking for. It woke something beautiful up inside me, or so I thought, right? Like, because with every high, there's a low. This must have been about 2013, it started off as a once in a while, once a week thing to when I got to the point where I went dark on YouTube, maybe around 2015, that I was smoking every day. I was basically throwing away everything I've worked so hard for up until that point. I left the gym, practically gave it away. I stopped making YouTube videos. I stopped working out. I was smoking weed and doing yoga. That's what I, I wanted to be a hippie for a while. I thought I deserved it. I've been so hardcore my whole life, right? College football, strong man. I'm gonna smoke some weed and stretch. <laughs> that was my mindset. And 
it got real bad. My business, I, because I created so much momentum, I created enough momentum, let me put it that way, I could have done so much more. Uh, but because I created so much uh, momentum, enough momentum, I was able to ride on it for a while. And then things started getting tough, uh, mainly in my home. It wasn't that I was a bad father or uh, a bad husband, and my wife never really complained, but she knew that I could be better. She knew that I could do better, and she, she would never say it, but I knew that she was sort of disappointed in that I was smoking weed every day. And I, I, di I didn't take heed, because I was like, well, I'm gonna do whatever I want, because whatever I did got us to where we are, so I must be right. Think about that, pride. <laughs> pride, brothers, I tell you. Sneaks up, it's very insidious. Uh, the one that I, at least, have to always be vigilant against. If you're a high-achieving businessman, executive, or entrepreneur who's dominating in business but struggle with drinking, drugs, overeating, or any filthy vice, here's some advice. The biggest mistake that you could make is to try to quit cold turkey and use willpower to overcome your cravings. If you've ever quit for a few days or a few weeks only to self-sabotage by binging worse than before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not only has my company helped thousands of men destroy vice and dominate life, I personally confronted and overcome the same struggles when I found myself hooked on weed at the peak of my business career. If you've got four minutes to listen to a coach who will help you achieve total self-mastery and control over your inner punk, then listen up. If you don't beat drinking, drugs, or any life-draining dependency in 90 days or less, not only will my company give you your money back, we'll pay for your first month's stay at a rehab retreat of your choice. That's what you need to succeed. So let's go, bro. Just visit waronvice.com, fill out an application, and my team will get back to you with the details. Hope to see you on the inside. Done.